step into the office. What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Pedro Duda Santiago back at you. For those of you that are new here, I do daily content about the gig economy, betting on yourself, setting goals, and doing it one day at a time. No frills today, let's get right into it. So, I think there's misconception about canceled orders, you know, let me give you guys a scenario and I think, I think there's some misinformation. I wanna inform you guys on what I have seen out here on the streets while I'm dashing. This scenario happened to me yesterday. Okay, so we've all been there. We get to a store and order gets canceled or order was picked up by another dasher or the restaurant's tablet's down. They don't know what's going on. It's lost in the wind, right? You get to a store, another dasher's there. You're both there for Pedro's order. It's happened to many of us. Now, there are a lot of reasons why this could happen. Tech where software glitch, it could have really been picked up and somehow the glitch sent it to multiple drivers. Customer canceled the order. That's happened to me a couple times and I've gotten half pay for it even before I've gotten to the restaurant. But I'm gonna give you guys a couple things you can do to make sure you still get some kind of compensatory money for arriving at the store, okay? And also a couple of scenarios on what you could do to either save yourself some time and what to do with support if you call them to make sure you get the maximum amount of dollars for your time and effort that you just spent. So scenario yesterday, I filmed it and uh, today I, I saw the money they sent me so I wanted to share this with you guys. So I had a $7 order from Chick-fil-A going a couple of miles. It was about 2.30, 2.45, And I got the order, I was down the street, went right there, it took me about three minutes maybe to drive there, right? So it wasn't like I got there late. I get there and this has happened at this particular Chick-fil-A a couple of times to me, two, three, maybe four times in the last maybe four or five months, okay? And I get there, they're like, oh yeah. And usually the bag's usually sitting there or they're preparing it. They're really quick at my Chick-fil-A, okay? The young lady walks up to me, been there maybe five minutes. And I'm just kind of being patient because it's slow. I'm on my phone. She goes, oh, do you have an order? I'm like, yeah, I got an order for Mike, let's say. She goes back to her, oh, I think somebody picked that up already. She goes back to her little tablet. She verifies. I'm like, oh man, I just got this. Like, you know, it's kind of crazy. She goes, yeah, I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to call support. Sometimes that happens, our system sends it out to multiple drivers. Those are her exact words. So this has happened to me and many others a few times. This probably happened to me at least a dozen times, maybe up to 20 times in the last in this past year. You know what? Sometimes you get upset. Sometimes you don't. It just depends on time of the day, how much money, you know, you how much time you spent, how far you took you to get there, like all that kind of stuff. I was down the street, wasn't sweating it. I saw $7. So I'm like, all right, I'm going to get 350 Not a big deal, right? Now, in order to get that money, I got to call support, let them know what happened. They'll, they'll put you on hold. They'll call the store. Either the store will answer or they won't answer. Support will get back on the line with you and they'll say, yeah, okay, we're going to send you an email verifying your half payment. Now, this is what's important. Now, we know DoorDash hides tips. It's a, we, We've beaten it with so many sticks. Like, it's an old news story. They hide tips. I show you guys how to find them. Companies have come along to try to help dashers show full chip transparency it's an old story they're going to continue to do it now some people think one of the reasons they high tips is that if an order does get canceled or an app glitches they only have to pay you half of what is shown so yesterday seven dollars half of that 350 that's what i was expecting that is not always the case as you can see here it showed me seven bucks but i got paid four dollars and some change it's more than half of 750. I had a White Castle order a couple months ago. I showed on a video a couple months ago. It showed me eight dollars and wound up paying me like 550. So half that order was 11 bucks. The way you can do, the way you can get your maximum amount of money for that order is that by doing this. So many of us have said you can call support and ask them what's the full payout. Can you tell me what the payout is on this? I don't do that for every order. Some people do it. On a canceled order or order that there's an issue and I have it in my interface, I have it in my, I'm ready to make that money and I'm at the store. Somebody says, oh, somebody picked it up already or they canceled it or we don't have it or our system's down, whatever, whatever the reason is. If you're in a part of the day, I recommend if it's not too busy, you know, two, three o'clock, whatever, it's not busy, take that three to five minutes to call support, let them know, the issue half pay, but you have to say this, you have to let them know, hey, the offer showed me $7. Or you could say, can you tell me what the full payout for this order would have been? Because I get half pay, correct? 
and let them talk. They'll look up the they'll look up the order for you. They'll tell you this is what the payout was going to be. They'll initiate your half payment and you'll get an email like I showed you here. And then you go to your earnings tab. You click on the amount for the week. Scroll all the way, right? At the bottom, it'll say other. As you see here, that's the amount you get. Now, these are dollars, maybe pennies in your advantage. But why leave money on the table? Okay? Why leave money on the table? Now, if it's six o'clock on a Friday night, you want to call support and be on a phone for five or 10 minutes because maybe there's a lot of calls or whatever. Maybe it's not worth that half pay for you. Maybe because you, you could still unassign the order yourself, take the hit on completion rate and keep it moving. You could do that. But while you're on the phone with support like I did yesterday, as soon as they unassign that order for you and cancel it and issue your half pay, you go, you go right back into the area of being able to get offers. And I was on the phone with support yesterday and they were still sending me DoorDash offers. So I didn't see that it was a big deal that I called them and I got my money. So that is my information for you guys. As I see things that happen to me as I'm out here in the streets every single, well, really Monday through Friday, doing deliveries, doing other things. But as things pop up, I let them to, I let them to be known to you guys so you guys can make the best informed decision while you're out there trying to make your money. One more tip. There will be times, won't happen often, but it's happened to me a couple of times. You'll get to a store, you have an order for Pedro. The person will tell you, oh, that was picked up already. That could have been the case and there's still actually another order for Pedro. So you wanna make sure you ask questions of these merchants. Okay, are you sure I have it here? Can you double check your tablet for me? Because let's say the first driver that picked up Pedro forgot something or the merchant forgot something, DoorDash will dispatch it again going to the same merch, the same house, but the full order, or sometimes customers order twice, make sure you're not leaving money at that store and calling for an order that actually does need to be delivered. Not gonna happen often, but it does sometimes happen. Listen, let's get into today's ride along. You guys are fantastic. Don't forget, go watch yesterday's video titled, Do Customers Ratings Really Matter? Give me a thumbs up on it. I'm gonna do a one chip challenge. If I get enough thumbs up on that video, I'll be doing that challenge on November 7th could be fun i'll do it live looking forward to that let's get into the ride along you guys are fantastic all right guys we are off little chilly morning today i love it's 54 degrees it's 10 o'clock i'm out here a little early because i got a few errands to run one errand to run now and then i got a few things to do later but listen i share with you guys stuff because i want you to maximize your dollars man i want you to make as much money as you can so you could not have to do doordash with these gig apps forever and uh, you can reach your goals quicker so Dollar here, dollar there, two dollars here. It begins to add up. I want you guys to make great decisions, and I don't want you ever to be surprised by something crazy that DoorDash will throw your way. All right, we accepted an order. Look at <laughs> you guys. You can see it's. I think it says ten twelve on my phone at the left there. That's the time it is, right? And it says pick up by ten oh nine. So I was supposed to pick up the order three minutes ago, but I just accepted it. So maybe this order's been bamboozled around a couple times i don't know let's <laughs> let's go find out okay there it is Ooh, they open. Hi. got a little school drop off let's go <laughs> Kobe Online DoorDash Grubba pick up Ring the bell, let's go Alright, this quesadilla, global quesadilla order was ready It was, uh, Papa, I think I showed you I don't know, 7 bucks 3 point something miles it was $50 worth of food So could be, it could go up from there But look at these instructions uh, I love when customers, you know, listen We complain about customers that don't give us door codes And gate codes and but the ones that do, I'm, I'm really appreciative. Super appreciative of people that are considerate in this way. And uh, I would be too, because at the end of the day, if I'm gonna get food delivered, I want it delivered promptly and I don't wanna make the guy, you know, wait on my order to get it to me. So shout out to this guy. All right, so the pin number didn't work. I text the guy, he came out. He said uh, they, they disabled the numbers for the gate because too many people were giving them out anyways he was ready dropped it off let's see what it wanted to be sweet from 7 to 9 25 
fantastic. All right, let's see what we get next, y'all. But I want to mention something real quick. All right, we got a CVS. Uh, I don't get as many CVS as I do Walgreens. I get a lot more Walgreens, but uh, 1075, four miles, four miles going south. CVS is up the street. It's only four items. Yeah, let's go. All right, there's the CVS, and then they stacked it with the crazy bowls and wraps, which is like behind me, six bucks, 1.5. Okay, let's do it. Both of these orders, what, 17 bucks? Let's go. Okay, this is what we're picking up. Let's go. Okay, Tony's gonna have some fun. I can honestly say I've never bought anything like that in my life. Or it would dirty, like, I, they wanted some lubricant, they didn't have it. Somebody's gonna have a good time. But I had to refund them the money on the lubricant because they didn't have it. What's the oddest, not, that's, those aren't odd things, but what's the, what's the, what's the funniest thing that you've ever picked up for somebody? Put it in the comments. All right, now we're at Crazy Bowls and Rats, it's literally down the street. You know what's really funny is I got, they ordered two large waters. Gotta stay hydrated. Goods. The real question is what's happening on the other side of that door? All right, we got this 1255 miles raising canes. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And I didn't show you guys, I had an $11 order from Uber Eats that we did right in the mix of all that contraceptive uh, lube action that we had. So um and the crazy bowl so actually we're at like 49 bucks and it's uh 11 .48. so good little pace let's do this raising canes i know there's going to be a little bit of a line but i like the dollar amount uh i don't mind the miles we're over two bucks a mile drops off in the downtown area should be able to get another order very quickly right after completing this one so uh let's go okay you know what there's definitely a line but i knew that going in and i don't care raising canes line one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would say there's probably 20 cars from the pickup window to that black Santa Fe. So this is a good scenario what we talked about in the beginning when the order gets canceled on the sign, somebody else picked it up, run into an issue like that, okay? It showed me 1250, so half of that's what, 625? <laughs> but there could be a hidden tip on here. It's 58 or $59 worth of food. So this could easily go up to $15 or so, which I think is what it's going to wind up being. I'll show you guys when we drop it off. Anyways, let's say I get to this window and they're like, well, I got I to gotta order this. It's Raising Cane's. But let's just say I run into an issue. I would call support. I would ask them, what is the final payout for this order? They would then tell me. And then that's when I know the amount that I get is half. I hold them accountable. I get half of the 15, I get half of the 20, whatever. If it's 1250, I get half of the 1250. Don't leave money on the table. Know what you can do to make sure you get all of your earnings. Because now, at the end of the day, we did we have done half the work. We drove here, right? So I don't expect the full payout, but I definitely expect half of whatever was owed to me. Thank you very much. You too big order let's get all these darn drinks all right maybe i shouldn't have taken this order there you go now i gotta pull up to the handicap spot they're gonna bring it out i'm probably gonna want them spending 30 minutes on this from when i got it to when i'll drop it off so if it's 15 bucks which i think it's gonna wind up being 15 then that's not bad but i do not like wasting time and this order is being delivered to a school I already know I'm probably going to get there and there's going to be some kind of issues with the drop-off. It is what it is. My name is Pedro DoorDash Santiago. I do DoorDash, so it is what it is. From delivering contraceptives and lube to waiting on chicken fingers to getting offers like this to more waiting. Day in the life. Let me show you the fascination in America and chicken. That black car is in line to get chicken. You guys see this? Look at this. There's the line. More cars in line to get chicken tenders. 
there's over 30 cars. Look at this. And those cars right there too. Waiting in line to get chicken tenders. Oh, what are we doing? Here she comes. Okay, let's go. So this is a message. This is my 30 second rant. Everybody's freaking talking about it, but I, I, I'm trying to make different videos. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this, cause this is what's happening, okay? This is why we tip delivery drivers. It's very simple. I'm in a line waiting for you to bring you and your work people or whatever lunch. I just waited for you in the line patiently. I'm not in a bad mood, I'm in a good mood. I'm babysitting your seven drinks carefully in my car as I drive. I don't have anybody in here to hold it for me. I have your food in a hot bag, keeping it ready and nice and hot and steamy for you. And I'm driving my personal automobile to your job to bring you lunch. That's why you tip your driver. It's considerate. It's kind. I'm bringing you lunch and you're paying me for it. And I'm grateful. It's rather a simple concept. Exchange goods for services. Money for my time. It's very simple. And if you don't think you need to tip your driver for waiting for you, babysitting your drinks and bringing you your food in my own personal automobile and you think the company should pay more that's fine but then you're going to in return have to pay even more in delivery fees because if the company has to pay more they're going to charge you more that's how the way world that's how the way the world works guys tip your delivery drivers real simple you get your stuff quicker and the world can continue to do what it needs to do if you don't want to tip Make your own food. Simple. Done. Uh, we got to make two trips. He said front gates. I guess this is the front gate. I don't know. This order, definitely, if I could have did it over again, I would not have taken it. Home of the Titans. Okay, yeah. I don't know what's going on here. This is ridiculous. Whew. Done. All right. Who's going to a kid? That's cool. They stayed at $12.50. $6 tip. Nice kid. So, it did not go up, but... I definitely, if I could have done that over, I would not have taken that order. Definitely wasted more time on that than I should have. All right, we got this 675, 2.2 miles, I think. Yeah, we could do that, DoorDash. There is a dollar peak pay, so it would have been 575. I'm thinking this is probably a $3 tip or 350 tip. Either way, it's a good order. Let's go do All it. All right, this particular store I picked up from a couple times. It's an interesting little, like, very classic st louis hole in the wall uh place <laughs> so it's called tasty treats it sounds like a, where you get like dog food or something like that but i'll take you guys in here and show you around see if you can understand what i'm saying about the kind of place it is they're definitely interesting here you go snack shop and catering <laughs> I just step there's so many people in there i might have to drop this order because feel like it's gonna be a waste of time I'm gonna make a decision in the next 30 seconds we gone no way there's like one person working in there behind the no nope nope on the sign all day long we ain't doing all them games let's go on to the next order I ain't got time to wait all right I dropped that order we got this one crazy bowls of wraps eleven dollars four miles yep we can do that Put us at 70 with well, an 11 dollar order on uber eats earlier wind up being 14. this one to put us at 75 dollars for the day It'll be about 115 i think this place is bumping oh. all right a little bit of a wait but it's all good because there's two orders and i like the dollar to mile ratio but anyways um look at this No address, just says school. School, just says school. So I texted him in the in-app messaging. Is there an actual address for this delivery? Question mark. School, I don't know if they typed that in and maybe it's a GPS issue, I have no idea. But we'll find her anyways, it's all good. In the direction say hand to me, uh, jump up and down five times. Look at the sun directly. 
uh, you know, look at look at the sun directly, and you will find me because I didn't put an address in. So just you know, use smoke signals, suns. Look at the dust on the side of the building to tell you if it's east or west, and you will find me that way because I don't know how to use an app to deliver food. Oh, John? Oh, no. Oh, you gotcha. Gotcha, man. Cool. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Figured out what school person is at the young lady's at so let's go to that school and drop it off <laughs> do you guys ever you're on a doordash per se let's this one for example is five dollars okay it's part of that stack 11.50 stack and then you got you know i keep my uber eats on or whatever you know and um you get like a 15 dollar order or something like that but it's like you're close to it but the drop-off location is the exact opposite direction of where you're driving to to drop off the food you already have. And you feel like, oh my God, I wish I wish I could take it. But you really, you, you could, but you're gambling too much because of the directions and things like that. But does it ever happen to y'all? You're on like, let's say a 5 or $6 delivery. Then you pop a really big one on the other app and you feel like, I don't know, silly or stupid. And I feel silly and stupid every day, just so you know. Third school? I know it, maybe even fourth. I don't know. A lot of school deliveries. I think, uh, let's see if we can't find them. I don't know what's going on here. I think, oh, this is, this is absurd. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Looking for lot B. Lot B, uh, lot G, okay, yeah. Let, you know what? Uh, why can't people just answer phones, man, when they order food or leave? Just, I, you know what? It's probably me. I'm pro I probably just, I mean, I'm probably an idiot. So let's chalk it up to that. I'm just an idiot. Yeah, for delivering food, I'm an idiot. Five dollar idiot. That's ooh. That's the name of the video. Five dollar idiot. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Let's go drop it. Here you go. Sorry I had to call. I just didn't want to have you like. Oh, no, you're okay. Thank you. Oh, you're good. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Thank you. Now I feel bad. All that smack I'm over here talking. Not really. I'm just, you know. We're vibing together because I know you guys can relate. And then she comes down. She hands me a couple dollars because she, you know, I guess she felt bad or I don't know. Anyways, it's funny. The things we we drivers do sometimes, you know what I'm saying? To make sure they get their crazy bowls and wraps. All right, I gotta confirm I dropped it off because I didn't do that yet. But okay, so I wanna I wanna show y'all what I do when I get my cash tips. I think I've mentioned this a couple times, but um, I don't count that in my earnings as far as like my weekly earnings. I just I just don't. But what I do is I put it in my um, like uh, council or whatever, right? So as you can see here, maybe I can show you. Here's the two bucks. And then we've got, you guys can see it. See, my council. Don't mind, the, I have diabetes. It's not, it's a needle for my insulin. Don't, don't think anything crazy is going on here. But this is the money I have. I don't even know how much is here. I think there's like 25 bucks maybe in cash tips over maybe the last, uh, I would say, probably three weeks. And for those of you that might be new, I have type one diabetes. I take insulin, so I keep my insulin with me. Uh, some people think you should have, like, my doctor wants me to get on a pump. I've had things attached to me before with diabetes. I don't like things attached to my body, so I just manually give myself. I have to keep extra, like, little syringes, and I have, like, flex pens. I have various, I have different, ways to get insulin and I take different time different types depending on time of day and things like that so that's why there was a needle in there I don't want you guys thinking anything crazy is going on okay all right we're gonna take a little bit we're gonna we're gonna take a little bit of pause I gotta get something to eat. I'm hungry as all can be I already ate my snacks I brought with me 
let's pause, take a little bit of a break, we'll see if we get anything else in the video today. All right, I'm about to show y'all something. Kind of cool, kind of funny, and a small little tip that I like to use sometimes. You guys remember I was getting some lunch, right? Take a little break. Well, check this out. We just dropped off that Crazy Bowls and Wraps. I went to lunch at Crazy Bowls and Wraps. I leave my apps on because if I get a great order, I might take it depending on where it's going, right? I order my lunch, which I'm about to eat right now. Crazy Bowls and Wraps right there. Don't mind the baby clothes in the back. And I basically got not free lunch, but I dropped off this $9 order and it paid for my lunch. Leave those apps on, guys. I'm telling y'all, leave the apps on. As long as you don't have a time strain, you got to be somewhere, and I didn't, leave them on. Just paid for my lunch by keeping my uh, app on. Pedro, tell us what you got for lunch. Okay, I'll tell you what I got for lunch. We got rice and beans. All right, listen, I don't eat meat, so I got to get my protein. We got all kinds of sauces, but then we got, give you guys a reveal here. We got a falafel Santa Fe bowl. Avocados, crispy tortillas, pico, corn salsa, little tomato ranch. Let's eat our lunch. All right, break time's over. We snagged a 7.33 for two miles, 7.11 on Uber Eats. Never done a 7.11 on Uber Eats before. Let's pick it up. All right, we're here picking up this 7.11. Customers sent me this message. They wanted to make sure that they had everything. Some customers think that we shop for these orders. <clears throat> I don't ever shop at 7-Eleven. They always get this together for me. But she was real nice. Just wanted to make sure they had everything. She's having a rough day, as you can see in the messages. That was pretty cool. Feel uh, waiting for the coffee to be made, but yeah, I don't know. She seems very happy. She's going to get all her food items. So. All right, the coffee got brewed. It got poured. The lid got put on. Let's go. I actually enjoy doing deliveries like this. When you feel like somebody's having a rough day, they need some coffee, they need some migraine, whatever. They, you know, it's cool, man. I, I don't, I don't, I like deliveries like this. I'll say that. I like doing deliveries where somebody, you know, you're bringing them, bringing somebody something that they they need for that day, and maybe they're working or they got the kids, they can't get out, and they're appreciative of you doing it, and they thank you, and you know, they tip you a couple dollars, whatever, and. That's how these apps should be used, in my opinion. Ooh, second cash tip today, baby. When you're giving out good customer service and you're wanting to get lucky, I guess, a little bit, too. She was like, I was like, I hope you have a better day. I was leaving the door, and I was taking a picture, and she came, and I was like, I hope you have a better day. She goes, now that I got my migraine meds and my coffee, I'll be better. And she hands me, I don't know, I think there's four or five bucks here. It don't matter. Cherry on the top, man. Whipped cream, cherry on a Sunday. It was seven dollars for two miles. I was doing it anyway. <clears throat> Good day today so far. And we picked up a uh, 825 four miles El Magway on DoorDash. We're gonna ready to do that. It's only 230. I'm gonna do this one. We're gonna be, I think about, I think 110 maybe. Yeah, about 110 bucks. We started a little early, but that's a solid day for me. Solid day. Solid. Yeah, so that was five bucks. If we if we add the five and then the two I got earlier, I mean we're it's a good day. Now for some of y'all, that's you know, this isn't a lot of money, but it's the time and energy I'm putting into it. I'm making a decent amount per hour and also doing other things on the side. Like listen, I know I'm super repetitive, but I want you guys to remember like you gotta do this hustle in my opinion. In my opinion. Do it and work towards something else that you really want to be doing. And that's why this work can be really nice, the freedom and flexibility, but you can, if you're in it, if you're in a decent market and you've learned your market and your merchants, you can make a living doing it, or you could just do a part-time and make a little side hustle or whatever and work towards what you really want to be doing, whatever that is for you. But for me, it's perfect right now because it allows me to do a lot of things I want to do besides just... I'm not just a DoorDash delivery driver. I'm not just a, a YouTube person with a channel that rants and raves and gives you guys the real every day. Like, I'm not... There's a lot of other things I got going on. And 
it a lot this allows me the freedom to do the things I really enjoy and the passions and the other side projects and other ways of making money and I've shared some of that with you guys and uh, it's just nice when I have a good day like today it keeps me motivated when I have bad days it actually motivates me as well to understand that hey I gotta I gotta make up for that bad day somewhere because I got goals and you guys should have goals and you should be working towards that one day at a time that's the main focus of this channel y'all and I like to keep saying it because I never know who's watching new person or maybe somebody hasn't watched in a while and they need to hear that because for me it's super important and I think we have to continue to bet on ourselves and set goals and do it one day at a time we got, we, we got to be able to do that if you're somebody that is goal oriented goal oriented and you're trying to reach something like I think that's a I think that's the way you got to do it in most things for, for most things in life all right y'all we're at a Mogway. this is where we depart the video for today I'm gonna go inside pick this bad boy up and we're gonna call it a vlog Have a pickup for Chris, Chris on DoorDash. Yeah. All right, y'all. Have an absolutely fantastic day, morning, night. If you're hustling, if you're watching on the replay, if you're watching whenever you're watching, I hope you're making money. I hope you're feeling good. Spend time with the fam. Do what do what you love, man. And listen, bet on you sickles one day at a time. You guys are absolutely fantastic. See you tomorrow.